what I realized is homework does not rule over your health. Like, if you need to sleep, then sleep. Hi guys, it's Mallory and I have a bun on top of my head. I just filmed my hairstyles video for back to school along with like a makeup tutorial so if you guys want to go check that out and see how to get this hairstyle then be sure to go and watch my last video because that is the video that is it. Also, sorry for this weird like camera angle. It's like down and like, I don't know, I just wanted to show my hair because I really like it. <laughs> But for this video, I wanted to do an advice video because I haven't done one of these in a while and back to school season is here, so I thought I would do advice for back to school. Now, I'm going to be a junior, so 11th grade, and I have been in school for a long time, so I feel like I have some things that I can tell you guys that will maybe make school a little bit less nerve-wracking or just to help you get better grades or stuff like that. So I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you for a few minutes and just tell you guys some advice that I have. Alright, so the first piece of advice that I have is honestly, high school you should not be nervous for. Maybe the first day will be a little bit nerve-wracking for you just because you have to find your classes and especially if you're a freshman then you have no idea where any of your classes are because you just started going to that school but if you're like a sophomore or a junior or a senior you pretty much know where your classes are going to be because you've been in that school before. Maybe if you're a freshman I would see why you would be nervous but honestly it's nothing to stress about. It's just high school you know it's only four years of your life which is really like nothing <laughs> so yeah just don't be nervous going with a positive attitude now in order to get good grades you do have to work a lot high school just gets harder and harder like if you're a freshman and you're like oh my god this is so hard like that's the easiest year that you're gonna have not trying to be a downer but it's just the truth high school does get harder each year so be sure to work really hard on everything that you have and study for every test and just do your work because Honestly, like if you're a freshman and you're like, uh, oh, this year is nothing like I can just like goof off like that is not true Your GPA counts for all four years of your high school So be sure to start working hard and end off working hard I know you can lose motivation in the middle of the year Especially towards like the end and when you're just like ah, I want summer But just be sure to keep studying and keep trying your best because it will pay off trust me it will and if you guys want me to do like a separate video all about how I study and how I motivate myself to keep working because I know it can be really hard, then just let me know down below. Next, I want to talk about bullying because I know high school you can get a few bullies. Honestly, just don't even let it bother you. They honestly don't even matter. They literally don't matter in anything that you're doing. Like if they say, oh, like I don't like you or something like that or just something rude, just be like, I don't care because why would you care about someone's feelings that you don't even care about? If a bully says something to you that's mean, why would you care? Like, it's not like you care about that person, like they're being rude to you, so just don't let it bother you. It's honestly like, it's not gonna help you at all just to let it bother you. Just be like, you know what, I don't care what you think, that's your own opinion and I know that I'm not like what you said about me. Now I want to talk about classes and different types of classes and all that. So I have a really, really tough schedule this year. I have two AP classes and then I have the rest honors and I already know I'm gonna be like really stressed out but I feel like I can do it. That's why I pick so many hard classes because I like to challenge myself because once you're done with all those classes you're like wow like I really did that and it makes you feel so much better inside. Definitely try to challenge yourself. Don't take too easy classes because then you'll be stuck with all the people that don't do work and just aren't as smart as other people and just kind of like bring you down. But if you're in a class that's too hard for you, you can get really stressed out. So try to pick a class that's good for you and giving you a challenge, but not too much of a challenge. I don't know if you guys know what I'm trying to say. Be wise with your class decisions because once you get in them and you like stay in them for a while, you can't get out and you're stuck with them. So just keep that in mind. Next, I want to talk about extracurricular activities because they are a great thing to get into. You should definitely try one of them, at least try it, and if you don't like it, you don't have to do it, but at least give them a chance. For me, I played volleyball all three years so far. Well, I'm starting my third year of volleyball and I'm going to do it next year too. So yeah, I'm playing volleyball and then I also tried out tennis. <laughs> I don't even know. I tried tennis last year and I ended up really liking it because it's really similar to volleyball. I don't wanna get like too into it because that's not what this video is about, but basically I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna try tennis and I just I went out for it and I did it and I made the team so that was great and I made a lot of new friends on that team and it was a lot of fun and it kept me like motivated to do well just because I don't know it it feels like I'm more productive and when I'm more productive I feel better so yeah try out something new if you don't play a sport you could do like clubs or maybe the play I've been really wanting to do the play honestly but I have no time because I do sports so just whatever you want to do go ahead and do it something not to do though is don't pick too many activities because then you will become stressed out you'll have so much work to do and you just don't want to be stressed out all the time so maybe pick like a few that you know you can handle along with your schoolwork and your friends, your family, your social life, all of that and still get some sleep. So just don't put too much on yourself because I've never done that but I know some people that have and it really stresses them out and it makes them like really like uh and it's just not not good so only do things that you know you will be able to do without being like stressed out all the time because stress sucks man it really does don't stress yourself out over every single thing I mean obviously we're gonna be stressed out because it's school but just don't get like too many activities and then like have them all like on you and it's just yeah so a good way to make friends for me is to obviously join clubs that is the number one thing that got me friends well not clubs I did sports but just join something because you meet a lot of new people and some of the people that I've met in volleyball are like my best friends now and it's really great and amazing and if I never did that then I would have never met them and we would have never became best friends so definitely clubs and sports and all that stuff get involved in something that helps you make friends and also if you're just in class and you just start up a conversation with someone maybe say like oh I like your shirt or oh I like your hair how did you do that or something then that gets a conversation started and you guys can keep talking and then maybe one day you will become best friends. I'm kind of jumping around in this video but I just wanted to like say whatever is on my mind to you guys. So anyways, jumping back to getting good grades, one of the best tips that I can give you for getting good grades is to make your teacher like you. And I know that can be hard, trust me, I've had teachers that it's really hard to get them to like you but I did it. So if I did it, I feel like you guys can did it. And what? So if I did it, I feel like you guys can do it. Just make sure that your teacher likes you because if the teacher doesn't like you, then it's just going to make your class a whole lot harder. Some ways to get them to like you is to turn in all of your work on time. Don't be like a distraction or anything. Like don't be like a teacher's pet because that's kind of annoying. Just be nice to your teachers. Maybe stay after class to ask them like a question or two. So it's like a one-on-one -on -one kind of conversation and just get them to like you so that if you're having trouble or something they will try to help you more than other students. That's what I've found because other students they just get kind of annoyed but if it's with you and they like you and they want to see you succeed then they will help you. So yeah just get your teachers to like you that's a big tip now this kind of caters towards high school more than like middle school or elementary school but if you're in high school then definitely be sure to go to homecoming prom football games just anything that your school has definitely go to them I mean like you don't have to go to like everything but at least try to go to some because they're really fun and even though some people don't like them or they think they're like lame or something just go to them anyway because you will regret it if you don't go to anything during high school and you just focus on your schoolwork like you have to focus on your schoolwork but if you just focus on your schoolwork and nothing else then it gets really hard to stay focused and really hard to like do well because that's all you're thinking about you have to just balance your time between your work and your friends and your sports and your extracurricular activities and if you guys are having trouble with balancing your time you find that you are always late for things and you never get things turned in on time and you're just all over the place a tip for me is to prioritize and get a planner oh my god I love my planner it is amazing I'm gonna show it to you guys in I think a haul that I'm gonna do like a school supplies haul and clothing haul something like that so I'm not gonna show it to you now because I'm gonna ruin the surprise but definitely get a planner they can help you so much in staying organized I use mine for everything I use mine for school for sports for YouTube for any other work that I do for doing things with friends like everything I write down my life in that planner and without it I would probably be like a jumbled up mess of like 
I don't know. I don't even know. But yeah, definitely invest in a planner. They really aren't that expensive. I mean, mine was a little more on the expensive side, but that's just because I got like a really nice one because I use it all the time. So if your school doesn't provide like an agenda, which my school does, I just don't like it, then you can definitely go out and buy a planner. I got one from Walmart last year for like five bucks. So they're really cheap and really easy. And they just help me so much and just are amazing. So I would definitely recommend getting one of those. And my last tip for you guys is to take breaks. That is the biggest tip I can ever give you. Take breaks and give yourself rewards. And I don't mean just with like studying like after an hour take like a break. You should give yourself breaks during studying too. What I mean is don't try Okay, I know I said to try on like everything, but if you are having like a bad day and you're really tired, maybe your game last night lasted forever and you got home at like 9 or 10 and then you had like 2 hours worth of homework, not every single piece of homework is important. And I know like, oh my god, people are probably gonna yell at me and be like, oh my god, you just told us to do everything. But try your best to do everything, but if you have had no sleep the last few days and you are just like getting cranky and you're getting like, oh my god, you just don't feel good at all, then just take a break, put down the homework, just don't do it. Even take the day off if you wanted to and just say you're sick. I've done that a few times where I just need a day to myself and a day to either get caught up in stuff or if I really don't feel like going to school, then I will stay home and just get work done at my house because sometimes you just gotta give yourself a break. School can be very stressful and just like life can be very stressful. So if you have so much work and you just need sleep, then definitely give yourself the opportunity to sleep or take a break because you gotta keep yourself healthy. I know a few times I would stay up all night doing homework and I would just feel like awful. What I realized is homework does not rule over your health. Like if you need to sleep, then sleep. Do not do that homework. Put it aside. Get your sleep because sleep is so important for your body and you need sleep and you don't need to do that homework. Like maybe you could try to do it the next day but don't break yourself down just to get a few papers done. Like you need to give yourself breaks and let your body like rest after a long day. All right, so I think that's about it for this video. I have no idea how long I've been talking. So this can either be like really short or really long in between, I have no idea. But I really hope that you guys liked this video and that it helped you. I just kind of said what was on my mind. I didn't really have a plan. I mean, I had a plan of like, things that I wanted to say to you guys. I just said whatever was on my mind because I feel like that is when I had the best advice for you guys is when I just like sit down and tell you guys what I'm thinking. I really hope this helped you guys and gave you some good advice on school and work and activities and everything that involves, you know, life. And I really hope you guys have a great school year. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below when you go back to school, if you started already or if you're going back. I go back on September 1st, I believe, which is in like a week and I really don't want to go back, but you know, we gotta do it. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Um, so I, and, so yeah, because I just, I, I, and my last tip for you guys is to just, what was it? I forget. I forget what it was. I just had it. Hmm. Because that's when I feel like I have the most, that's when I feel like I have the, so like, that's like, so, Best of that. What? God, I can't talk.